So we need this new find random location class, this new task, and we need to do it in C++ now. If you're working in blueprints, you could just go to, in the behavior tree, you could do this, uh, create a new task like this. I'm not gonna do that because we're doing this in C++. That's the whole point of this series. Now, there's a bit of an issue. I've searched in the engine source for this BT task blueprint base. Now this is the parent class he used for blueprint based tasks. And there's this receive execute function. This is where you would put your blueprint code and you would think it would be the same for C++, but it says it's blueprint implementable event. So it can only be used in blueprints. Now for C++, we need to do something different and it's to be found in BT task blackball base. This is the parent class that we inherit from, except it's not in here, it's in the parent class. And yes, it's execute task is what you actually use. And we'll be overriding this and putting our code in to that overridden function. I'm gonna get rid of these. Back in Unreal, in the C++ classes folder, where we put in all these, I'm going to create a new one. I'm gonna open up all classes and it's BT task blackboard base. So we select that. If you look at the blueprint base, it says in the sort of hint base class for blueprint based task nodes, do not use it for creating native C++ classes. So we need the blackboard based one. That needs to be find random location. Let's get rid of that my on the front. What you get is, um, well, not a lot, but it's a starting place. So in fact, we want execute task, don't we? And we also want the constructor. I shall make this explicit. And it's got a single parameter here. One of these F object initializers. I now need to create these. Before we do that, I'm going to create an exposed U property. This will allow us to tweak the search radius if necessary in the editor without having to do a recompiler and everything. So in the constructor, there's something called a node name. And this appears on the node when you drag it into the behavior tree editor. So I'm going to give it something meaningful like find random location in nav mesh, say. Something like that. And now for this code. So what that tries to do is to cast the AI controller that we get from this owner comp. So we've got this behavior tree component. So this is the behavior tree coming in. And from that, we can get the controller that owns the pawn, as it were, and get the controller from the tree. So yeah, I should be using auto a lot more, shouldn't I? Hang on. So what we do is get the original, the current, I should say, NPC location. We can use that as an origin from which to generate a random location. So get actor location will give us a vector. So we get the navigation system and generate a random location from it. So make sure you've got these headers, the navigation system and this NPC controller. Now we need an FNAV location object. So we've got this get random point in navigable radius. So we give it the origin, the search radius and lock. Don't need anything else. So that will search for 
a random point in the nav mesh and uh, starting at this origin and within this radius and it puts the output into this lock variable. Get random point in navigable radius returns true if it succeeded or it found a point and false otherwise. So we'll only enter this if statement if we manage to find a random point around origin within search radius. So now we're going to write to the blackboard component. From the owner comp, we can get the blackboard component. That's a pointer, so we need a pointer dereference and set value as vector, isn't it? Now I'm going to use blackboard keys. In here, you would put the string of the blackboard key name, but we're going to assign a blackboard to this node and you can get its blackboard key name. Here we finish with success. So there's a, an enumeration called EBT node result and it's got a member called succeeded. So that denotes success. And then we return EBT node result succeeded. We can also fail. This will make the node fail, which I believe makes the sequence node that it belongs to also fail. And if we've got more than one sequence node coming off the selector, the selector will then try to look for another child sequence that does not fail. So let's do a save and a build. So that succeeded. Now back in Unreal, we can go to the behavior tree. Actually coming off this select, we need a sequence node, not a task. So I want a sequence. And off of here, we can now create a find random location in NavMesh. So on another one, which is the move to and a wait node. I need to set these up. This one, the blackboard key, we need to set to target location. Same for the move to. Sorry, not there, it's here. And this I'm going to set to one. I'm going to save that. If you open up the blueprint for the MPC, you need to make sure that if you select this BP MPC that you've set the blackboard tree and also the controller class. So you click this drop down and it's initially set to AI controller, but set it to MPC underscore AI controller. I'll now do a save and a compile and it should now work, I believe. And yes, it's moving, but you can see there's a problem and we will fix that in the next one.